come true. Oh, yes, they do. And the Olympics is open with reckless abandon to save your insatiable senses. Columbus, that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Columbus, run the bend. It's Peter Dills. If you've been following me here on the radio, you know I love those hidden restaurants, the unexpected gems. Recently, I've discovered an unexpected gem in my beer aisle at the local supermarket, Supero Beer, yes, the beer that made sushi famous. Also goes great with steaks, chops, and even pizza. So make it a Supero Beer for your next tailgate party or backyard barbecue. Supero Beer, where East meets West. Supero Beer reminds you to drink responsibly. Longo Lexus is California's premier Lexus dealer with amazing deals on over 800 new and pre-owned Lexus vehicles. Longo Lexus is the number one Lexus dealer in the western area since 1990. 30 years of great people, great products, great service. Visit us today at longolexus.com. So there I am, stuck at home for what felt like an eternity. But you know what? I put that time to good use, like by cleaning my grill, sweeping my patio, and getting ready to finally get the old gang back together again for some summer barbecue fun. Because that's what the best hostesses do. They prepare. So for whatever summer throws at you this year, Smart and Final has you and all your amigos covered with the variety they need at the value you love. Get the best yeah. Right to you by shopping online at smartandfinal.com. Smart and Final. One trip, and that's it. All right, everybody, we're back from the board. It's Big Bills Go Country 105. It's Sunday morning. It's about 20 after 8. Or uh, close to it. Hope everybody's having a Sunday. Great Sunday. What are you doing today? What's happening? What are you guys going to do? Anybody getting ready for Mimosa? Remember, uh, the show is repeated at 9 o'clock on iTunes, Podcast, Spotify, and SoundCloud. And maybe if I get my act together, we'll rewind it to Facebook for a watch party at about 9 o'clock. So many ways to participate here on the very air out there. Hey, did I mention we're going to be starting a TVOC TV soon? Yes, you did. I'm very excited. Do you want to be a part of that? Um, I've been told I have a face for TV, voice for print. Okay, you are in the army. Marine Corps. You are in the Marine Corps. Exactly. You're in the Army. Oh, no. Marine Corps. Uh, Gene Simmons sang a great song in the Marine Corps for the Marine Corps one time. Whoa, whoa. Were you with me when you was on the show? Yeah, yeah I got him on. <laughs> 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 I was producing the truth. Okay, speaking of the military mass, the mass unit in South Korea. Oh, South Korea. Anyway, there was a great cast of characters. And one of them is now my friend his name is jeff maxwell and he's on the air with us right now jeff are you there he is with you he is with you he's very very with you hi peter <laughs> jeff maxwell now what's the difference between a private and a first class private is there anything or what i haven't the slightest idea to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> i was just telling turtle i, was just telling I don't turtle. know Ask is there a, forgive me is there a, a military a actual military person there with you yes yes turtle, is. turtle was in the uh, marines yeah hey well thank you for your service cool man so what's the difference between a first class and know. a private uh, you know well well private's just a private and a pfc is a professional floor cleaner in the Marine Corps. So private <laughs> first class. Private <laughs> right. first class. But that's what I was getting at. Right. Because you get another stripe. Right. Well, you get your first stripe. You get your first stripe. Yeah. Oh, so when you're just a private, you have no you have stripes. nothing. No stripes. Okay, you're correct. That's what the deal was last night when I was watching the show. On KDOC, MeTV, one of those stations, Jeff Maxwell. <laughs> I just been on the show before. He's actually a pretty good guest once I start stop talking and let him yeah. participate. Okay. <laughs> Um, he, he, also, do you remember the movie, uh, Kentucky Fried Movie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jeff Maxwell. That, we've got a few people here at Columbus, uh, Jeff, here in the morning, Sunday morning. And uh, maybe we'll, we'll get some crowd noise when we got to... Yeah, woo, hey! we got 68 people. If we go for 69, it's the higher occupancy. I hope you are masked on and you're social distancing and you're not licking each other's faces. Two out of the three ain't bad, my friend. And he loves things to say, two out of three ain't bad. I won't let you know which, what you could probably guess. All right, so I kind of felt fell so into this role as um, Private Igor, um, cook of the mess, mess hall on the show Mash, which just turned out to be a phenomenal show. And you, Jeff, I never have really used this word before. You parlayed it. Is that cool? Oh, is that good or bad? You parlayed it into a cookbook. I mean, I, I, I got the job, and I was uh, sort of uh, uh, led over to the mess tent, and I was kind of 
the Cook food server of the 4077, and that lasted nine years, which was a really, 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 really good job because it was filled with so many very interesting and smart people that were fun to be around. Uh, not only were they really smart, but they were funny and, and just basically enjoyable to spend hours and hours of, of your day with them. They became my, you know, kind of like a, a second family. We all were a second family to each other. Uh, I was on the show for nine years. The show was on uh, for 11. So I got on at kind of the end of the second season. And the thing. I mean, did you, were you on a night or a friend of a friend said, hey, you'd be perfect for this? We never talked about that. But you know what? Uh, I, I've, been, I've had a number of jobs and they were extremely late. I say we're all at 20th Century Fox Studios. Uh, I started at 20th Century Fox when my dad helped me get me a job because he knew I wanted to be in show business and he helped get me a job at 20th Century Fox because he was, a, he was uh, the manager of a bowling alley uh, in West L.A. over by, over by the studio. And he knew the guy who ran the print shop. Now, the print shop is a long way away from that. <laughs> yeah, and he knew a guy who knew a guy. And it's a long way away from a movie camera, but it was the print shop. So he said, Jeff, I think you can get a job at, at the studio uh, from this guy. So I did. And for a long time, I was in the print shop. And I printed the scripts for all the movies and TV shows. And then I went insane. <laughs> <laughs> And I got a job as the Xerox operator in the executive building where all the producers were. And I got to wear nice clothes and walk around with Richard Zanuck and all the fancy people. And it was really fun to be part of that whole uh, very iconic and historical building with all these historical people walking around. Um, and then I got casting a job. Call, the casting couch called. I never got to that couch, but I seen it. I heard it was dirty. <laughs> I, please, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go there, but I got a job as a casting director, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed. Young man, I was a, I was a young man, baby, baby, infantile, and uh, but I always had the performing, you know, gene in me. So I actually, uh, I actually resigned from that casting position and I did that for about a year uh, and I had casting director friends however that were there for a long time and I resigned and I went off to perform kind of around the world I did two USO tours and we went to Japan and Korea and Guam and uh, all over the place we had a great time uh, it was a comedy team called Garrett and Maxwell and I was the Maxwell house no uh, and then we came back, and uh, because of my casting director friends, they said, well, there's this television show called MASH, uh, and it's about to be canceled. I don't know if you want to try acting. Maybe we can get you on it. It was. It was about to be canceled. So. Turned out to be the greatest show ever, next second second most watched show next to the Super Bowl, with the finale, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I don't want to say I had anything to do with the ratings, but as soon as I got on the show, the ratings, you know, went sky high. Well, so. you know, uh, Jeff, Go Country 105, that's where we were at this morning. Uh, before I got here, they were the number three country station in the United States. As soon as I started here, gosh, a year and a half ago, we were now the number one country music station. Listen to country music station in the whole United States for, for, all, for all I know the world. Well, as well it should be. Have you had any experience or any, oh, memories of anything country in your life and all the stuff that you've done? I know you've produced and directed and acted and hosted and done a lot of stuff but have you come across any you got any country music stories if you don't I can say go real fast back to the cookbook the <laughs> you know the closest country I get is I love Jackson Hole Wyoming and I used to go there every year and ski and then I would hang out you know I bought about a hundred pair of cowboy boots because I love cowboy boots and I hang out in the, in the bars and drink martinis and listen to a lot of country western music. So, yeah, it's it me. I, and I own a few horses, so I got a, I got some country. I do want to hear the country when you were talking to Jeff Maxwell. Private Igor, I was reading your bio, not bio, I was reading a little story on MeTV. 
And that's how I watch my TV. Every, I think it's every night at 7 o'clock, except for... No, I think it's every night at 7 o'clock on the TV. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I just, maybe I know and you don't know. And that makes sense because I have already asked you, do you watch the show? And you said, no, not unless you're flipping around and, or you're somewhere and it just turns on, comes on. I, that's really what it is. I, uh, I, not to do a plug, but I do a, a podcast with a gentleman named uh, Ryan Patrick, and we do a, a podcast called Mash Matters, and we talk about all things. Mash Matters. Mash Matters. It's called MashMattersPodcast.com. You can go there and see it. Um, but we, uh, you know, there was, in one of the episodes, they wanted to review season one of the seasons. And my partner knows everything there is to know about MASH. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember much of it. Right. <laughs> but he does, because he grew up watching the show, and I grew up there kind of working in the show. So I don't remember it like a, like a fan does. And so I had to watch uh, all the episodes for season four one day, because we had to talk about them. And it's a cute little show. <laughs> 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 Barry Morgan, McLean Stevenson, uh, Alan oh, Alda, uh, uh, yeah. uh, Larry Gilbert, uh, Jeff Maxwell, Gary uh, Burkholz, Maxwell, Otis yeah. Swift. Larry, Larry Gilbert was the writer. He was the original writer of the pilot, and he wrote most of the shows for the first four years, and then he left. Mm. Um, and then there other writers came in to, to carry on the, the show, but, and they did a great job. So uh, but Larry Gilbert was a real genius comedy writer. Turtle uh, has really a question for you. Well, uh, it, it's, it's a little bit of a question, uh, but at the same time, um, I guarded a field hospital in the Marine Corps during the uh, Second Iraq uh, War, and uh, I always thought of MASH just because uh, the, the, the doctors that were there, I don't know if they were just like corny or funny because they saw the show and they wanted to be corny and funny, but... Um, it was just hilarious to be to be the guy that guarded the other doctors and stuff like that. And uh, uh, did you ever experience uh, anybody coming up to you with kind of your, um, a, I guess, a memory of that? Like, like, you know, do you inspire a memory of that? Yeah, yeah. It was different. I mean, people come to me and talk about it.